Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then notice if the breath is comfortable or not. You have the right to choose a comfortable breath or an uncomfortable breath. So why choose an uncomfortable breath? Take some time to see what breathing feels really good right now. And you're going to be the judge. So you can try long breathing, short, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what you like. And then see what has a good impact on, on the body and on the mind. This, the Buddha said, is the basic principle for practicing. You commit yourself to the practice and then you reflect. What are the results you're getting? If the results are good, keep it up. If not, you can change. This is where you learn how to depend on yourself. Because as the Buddha said, your own self is your own mainstay. Atahi, atano, nato. We take the Buddha, and Dhamma, and Sangha as our refuge. But we end up having to depend on ourselves. Because when the Buddha says you take the Dhamma as your refuge, what does that mean? It means you try to develop mindfulness, you develop alertness, you develop ardency in getting the mind established. In other words, you learn how to depend on yourself. That's taking the Dharma as your refuge. As for taking the Buddha as your refuge, we take him as an example. He was a person of wisdom, compassion, purity. And as he said, these are the qualities that lead to true happiness. So we try that too. We try to follow his example so that we can have those qualities. We can be wise, we can be pure, we can be compassionate. The same with the Sangha. We take them as an example. So when you're taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, you're ultimately taking refuge in good qualities in your mind. Because we all want goodness in life. And the reason we come to the monastery is because we realize that goodness doesn't come floating in from nowhere. It comes from our own actions. And our actions come from where? They come from our mind. So the mind has to be trained. The goodness has to come from inside. What's out there in the world is just simply re our own goodness reflected back at us. So you want to create as much goodness, radiate as much goodness as you can by being generous, by observing the precepts, and by meditating. These are the ways in which you radiate goodness into the world. And you learn how to depend on yourself. If our goodness depended on things outside being just the way we want them to be, it wouldn't last very long, and we wouldn't be able to depend on ourselves at all. So the goodness has to come from inside. And the good thing is that we have the ability to keep on creating it all the time. So even when we're sitting here with our eyes closed, we're creating goodness inside. So learn to take every advantage you have being good in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. And that way you find a happiness that you can really depend on.